So I'm starting this video off with a hack that's going to transform the way you pack your underwear, your socks, and your undershirts. Start things off by laying out the t-shirt or your undershirt. Then you put the underwear right here, then you fold over the sleeves and you're going to bring in the socks just like this. And next you're going to go ahead and start to roll. And here at the end we wrap things up by rolling over the socks. Look at that right here. Perfectly packaged. The beauty of this hack is not only does it save you space, but it also helps you to make sure that you don't forget anything. All right, gentlemen, so in today's video, I've got over 20 hacks that I've tested, I've used, and I wanna share with you to make you more stylish. You ready, guys? Let's do it. So this next hack is for you guys that wanna get the perfect haircut, but you don't know how to talk to your barber. After you get a great haircut, make sure to take pictures from the front, from the side, from the back, and why stop with a picture? How about make a quick video of your haircut, even have the barber who gave you that haircut talk to your camera so that he can give the information to himself or to another barber next time. Now this next hack you may have heard me talk about before, and that's to take an empty bottle through security and to fill it up on the other side so you're not paying an outrageous price for bottled water. One thing you may not know is you can take frozen water, ice, right through security, no problem. I know this, I just tested it the other day. I went to grab my bottle of water, it was frozen, I'm like, hey, great time to test this hack, went right through security, no problem. And speaking of security, this next hack is all about making your life a little bit easier. How many of you guys hate going through that metal detector? You gotta take off everything and your belt. It's just a pain. Guys, what if you could simply reach down and take that buckle right off? Because the buckle is the only thing that's metal get a removable belt buckle. Now, once you've made it through security, you gotta put your shoes back on. But with dress shoes, as you guys know, it helps to have a shoehorn. Otherwise, you're gonna damage the back of the shoe here. Well, guess what? You've got a traveling shoehorn when you've got a belt. The end of the belt right here fits right into the back of your shoe and will help your foot slide in without damaging the back of that shoe. Now, gentlemen, at this point, you may be wondering, Antonio, where'd you get those great looking belts? Guys, Anson Belt and Buckle, the paid sponsor of today's video, and for over five years, I've been talking about this company, loving their products, even before they came on as a paid sponsor. What makes Anson Belt and Buckle unique is that micro adjust system. Notice no holes here. That's because when you go to the back right here, what you notice is they've got these one quarter of an inch adjustments. This is much better than the common hole system. So the hole system, an inch between each hole. Next up, let's talk about their interchangeable system. So guys, imagine this. You own three different straps. They've got such a wide variety with suede. They've got canvas. They've got fun ones. You know, I wear this one on the 4th of July. They've also got just regular black and just the more common colors out there. The key is you choose three and then you go choose maybe three buckles. You go with maybe a shiny silver like that. You go with something like that. Or maybe you want, I don't know, black. You can get a black one. You have three buckles that would work with three different straps. And so you have nine different combinations. And let's talk about their customer service. So David and Frank, the founders, they're a father-son combo. These guys treat their customers like family. And if you're wondering where to get started, check out their gift package. This will come with your choice. You can either get two straps and three buckles or two buckles and three straps. In any case, six combinations. You get to choose, customize this to however you want. Guys, I'm linking to Anson Belt and Buckle down in the description of this video. A great company. I'm proud to support them. Go check them out. Again, the link is down in the description. So this next hack is for you watch lovers that travel a lot, and that is when I'm traveling, I wear two watches because I do not want to lose one of my favorite watches in my luggage. Ten years ago, I did lose a bag, and it's just something I don't want to lose my watches. I love my watches, and they've got meaning to me, so anything actually that's valuable, I like to keep close to my body, but what's cool about watches is you can wear them. So these next two hacks are for those of you that own a pair of shoes that are slightly too small. Maybe you gained a bit of weight, maybe you went to a thrift store, got a great deal, but they're just a little bit too small. Now the first hack is to use a shoe extender to make the shoe up to one half size larger. Now most cobblers are going to have one of these. He'll moisten up the shoe up to a half a size. He can extend it and basically he's stretching the leather, making the shoe a little bit larger. Now this next hack is more of a do-it-yourself, especially if you've only got a few hot spots, put on a big heavy pair of wool socks. You're going to then put the shoe on and you're going to use a hair dryer and you are going to blow the heat for about five to ten minutes on the area where basically you've got the tightness. What this is going to do is it's going to soften the leather and it's going to start to reshape it. But if you've just got a few areas that it's just a bit tight, that right there, that heat from the hair dryer could actually make a big difference. Now this next hack can possibly save you hundreds of dollars on your expensive shoes not having to get them resold and that is to use a simple Heel saver. The way I walk on my shoes, notice right here, I do damage right here on the right outside heel. It's just simply the way I walk. So if I used a simple heel saver, I'd probably save myself a lot of money. 
Now, this next hack is all about you not falling on your backside. So, I love leather soles, but you are going to slip and slide when it's wet, whenever there's snow, whenever there's any ice. Guys, make sure to get a rubber sole. You can simply go to a cobbler. You can even do it yourself. But what you want to do is attach this to the bottom, even if it's just for the winter right here, that's going to give you a lot more grip. So, do you ever go to button a button, you look at the thread and all of a sudden it's coming out. How do you fix this without having to sew on the button? Simply take it cut the thread and then take some super glue and dot it right there. It's going to hold it in place. I know that sewing on a button is something that not everyone knows. Check out this tutorial, how to sew on a button. And as you can see, I make it very simple. Go check it out. I'll be linking to that video down in the description. Now, these last couple of hacks had to do with sewing. You're probably wondering, Antonio, where am I going to get a sewing kit? I'm traveling. Well, guess what? You're in luck. Go to your hotel concierge and simply ask for an emergency sewing kit. Whenever I'm traveling, I always ask for the emergency sewing kit. I like to keep one in my bag just in case. But guys, you're going to find most nicer hotels carry these and they'll give them to you for free. Next up, let's talk about collar stays. I love collar stays. They keep your collar points looking great. The problem with collar stays is we seem to forget them. So, what do you do if you're traveling and you've forgotten your collar stay? Then just simply take that rewards card you never use and cut one out. Works perfectly fine. And what I like about this is it's actually plastic. Metal collar stays, the only issue I have with them is if you wash a shirt with metal collar stays, it can actually damage the shirt. So, these ones you get for free simply by recycling something that you weren't using, boom, win right there. So, you're taking a short trip. We're talking an overnight trip and you don't want to take all that shaving cream, all that hair product. You want to travel light. Well, guys, take a contact container, put enough shaving cream in there, enough hair product for that one night. Boom, you're good to go. So, this next hack is all about keeping your cash secured. So, guys, take an empty lip balm container, roll up your cash, put it right in here. Nobody's going to steal a lip balm container. Now, this next hack is all about what to do when you're out of shaving cream. Maybe you're traveling, you forgot it, or you're at home and it's out. Guys, what you're looking for is something that's going to allow the razor to glide across the face. So, you're going to see olive oil talked about, but actually you could use coconut oil, any type of oil, again, you find in the kitchen. Next up, let's talk about conditioners. Yes, conditioners that you use on your hair, hand lotions, body lotions, face lotions. I would recommend hand lotions and body lotions, but be careful with face lotions because those are made to actually absorb right into the face versus the ones on the hand are going to have more oil and they're going to actually give more of a glide on the face. Now, this next hack is all about you ironing a shirt quickly when you got to get out the door. Let's say you've got an interview and you are late. What should you do? Guys, in this case, all you need to do is iron the collar and iron the cuffs. Maybe right here if it's really bad, but guess what? When you keep a jacket on, no one is going to see the sleeves. No one is going to see the back. No one is going to see in and around the torso. So, keep that jacket on and just simply iron the parts which people will see. But what if you don't have an iron? Okay, let me ask. Does your girlfriend or wife have a hair straightener? If the answer is yes, boom, you're good to go. Use that hair straightener right on the collar. Use it right on the cuffs. Boom, run out the door. Make sure you keep that jacket on. Do your shoes smell? Does your gym bag smell? Guys, put in some dry tea bags. You're good to go. So, guys, this can be really embarrassing. You got that pair of pants that you absolutely love the fit of, but the zipper keeps going down. A quick way to fix this is to attach a metal ring and when you zip it up, just boom, go right there around the button. Now, another way to do this and it's more temporary is to simply use a rubber band or just a piece of string. The key is, is you want to make sure that zipper is not going to go down. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What did I miss? What hack would you have added to make this video better? And if you like this video, click on that like button. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, then click on that subscribe button. Become part of our community. And gentlemen, don't forget, go check out Anson Belt and Buckle. I'm linking to them down in the description. A great product, great customer service, and I love their whole interchangeable belt system. Again, I'm linking to them down in the description. Use that link, guys. Great company. Proud to support them. And if you're wondering what video to watch next, check out this video right here, 10 Style Rules That Every Man Needs to Know. Do you know them, guys? Find out. Go check out this video. I will be linking to it down in the description. That's it, gentlemen. Take care. I will see you in the next video.